What is up guys, gals, and all you awesome, awesome minions and gamers of different shapes and sizes? It is me, Josh, aka Noah Proxy, bringing you some more Rigs Mechanized Combat League on the PlayStation 4 via the PSVR headset, which came out just a few days ago, but I am incredibly, seriously addicted to Rigs and the PSVR. I think it's an amazing piece of tech, and it's really well worth the price from the games that I played on it. So, so cool. But we are playing some Rigs multiplayer today, and this is another really cool match that I wanted to show you. Now, I I'm actually playing with a player that I met through the community, which is really cool. The amazing thing about Rigs is that the community is so passionate, so friendly, and that's something that you want when it comes to a multiplayer-centric game. So cool. And I'm just over the moon that I've been able to make friends through the game and actually have a team already just a few days after launch. So, so good. But you may have noticed the pre-loadout screen as well, where you basically kind of, like, prep with your teammates. You see some animations and stuff. I think that's so cool that they try to make this game as immersive as possible. So fantastic. But we are also playing some... Team Takedown today, which is basically Team Deathmatch. Remember to drop a like if you enjoy this video too, and also why not subscribe for some more Rigs gameplay and other PSVR videos in the future. There's no point in, you know, not subscribing if you don't want to miss out on all that stuff, but we are playing some Team Takedown, and I'm also using the Dead Center Rig. Now, in the last video, I was actually corrected. I called the rig the Thief Rig. It's not actually the Thief Rig. It's a Thief type of rig. There's actually four different types of Thief Rig, and that allows you to basically go around the map, as I mentioned, in the last video, but not be seen on the radar. Once you're in movement mode, you have three actual modes. As you know, you have movement mode, which allows you to speed around the map. You also have engineer mode, which allows you to heal yourself, and then finally attack mode, which augments your damage. But in movement mode, while using the feet type rig, which is dead sensor as I'm playing here, it allows you to stay invisible, but also the other added ability is when you're playing, say, with the more football mode, you can actually fire the ball at the team or around the map or at the goal, possibly, which is such an exciting idea, which I'm really going to try out tonight. I'm really, really curious if you can actually fire the ball into the goal. That'd be so, so cool. <laughs> But with Dead Center 2, which is also a flying type rig, I'm able to flutter around the field. Now, that does actually give up some of my health, which is obviously a little bit annoying. You actually just saw the shockwave gun, which I think is called the Impulse Cannon, if I am correcting myself. And it's so, so deadly. Stay away from that gun. It is so powerful. It's basically kind of like a shotgun, but in like a sound wave, just without the whole dubstep thing, like if it was Saints Row 4 or something. <laughs> But it's really powerful, and I've been finding that the AI called Diaz, who's been showing up in a lot of the multiplayer matches, really powerful AI. This is something that I found quite shocking, is that the AI is really, really competitive while playing the multiplayer. So if you do have, like, one less teammate who is an actual real-life player, a human being, then the AI actually takes over, which is really good. So it's one of those things where, say, if the multiplayer for this game did actually pass over the years, like, say, in about 10 or 15 years, the AI will still be there to to give you some challenges while playing the online mode while also working towards the trophies and things, which I think is really fantastic. Now, in this first half, I'm not actually doing that well. I'm getting a little bit ambitious. <laughs> this is one of my first few multiplayer matches. I'm also trying to get used to the Dead Center rig, who is my favorite. I love the Dead Center rig, mainly because it allows me to stay cloaked while in movement mode, as I'm using right here. Nobody can see me on the map, which is fantastic. But also, those dual miniguns are so fun. I don't know why I find dual miniguns just so immersive. It's, it's so unusual. Is anyone Speak in that comment section below, let me know. 18.9 at the moment though, we are completely steamrolling. And you know why? Because I'm working with my team. Now the top player is actually the AI which is incredibly shocking. As I said, the AI is really good in this game. Really, really good. So it's one of those things where generally if you're playing the multiplayer and the enemy team has an AI combatant, if it's Diaz, then you are pretty much screwed. I do actually have some videos where we actually have to focus on Diaz as if he's like a boss. <laughs> like an actual boss fight, which is so cool because he's generally wandering around in a tank type mech. So you may notice that the AI likes to walk around in tank type mechs. Maybe just kind of like make them a little bit more... Resilience and like in a sense of like staying alive longer to actually contribute. I'm not too sure But I find that the AI is really really dangerous But I like that it's something to remember and something that I appreciate when it comes to playing these games Because you don't want to feel like the AI are like zombies like they're just you know there to be shot Which they are obviously I want to pwn I want to kick some ass You want to kick some ass when it comes to playing rigs But you also want that kind of like challenge when it comes to playing the game and rigs really offers it which is fantastic I just it's something that it's one of like a 
game developer actually knows. You know, when they actually appreciate the, di like, the difficulty that you expect, especially when playing a multiplayer focus game where, say, the community might not even be there, but potentially rigs might not have even taken off, which would have been so depressing. But if it hadn't, the AI would still be there to give you that challenge, which is just great, which I just love. I think that's a fantastic thing. But we are actually making up here. Now, this is the thing. When I was playing this match, I was in half time and I was thinking, you know what? I have to get better. I have to show them that I am proxy. I'm not a freaking proxy. I'm, I'm a badass when it comes to these games. Might be rubbing my ego a little bit there, but still, I wanted to get a little bit better, you know? So I went into kind of like Super Saiyan mode. As you can see, I'm actually in overdrive and I was thinking, I am out for blood. I, I'm not going to be bottom of the league table. No, 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 no. I want to be the top of the scoreboard. So I'm actually using my dead center rig to take advantage of its abilities. You may notice that some enemies are dropping down these nuclear bombs. That is actually an ability that they have where it's kind of like martyrdom, which is so worrying. So basically when they die, they can just blow your ass up with this giant chocolate explosion. It's so scary. But I am trying to use my dead center rig as best as possible to stay competitive. And we might actually see a little bit of an outcome to that. But loving the idea that all of these rigs have all this different kind of versatility when it comes to their own utility. Have you seen this impulse cannon? It's so crazy. You need to stay away from those people. The impulse cannon is so deadly, so dangerous. I believe it is the impulse cannon unless it is actually a different name because I've used another rig that has twin impulse cannons and it didn't feel as powerful. But that shizzle there is so freaking deadly. <laughs> Knowing that there's like a shockwave shotgun that can take half of your health off at close range. Half of your health! Don't you think that's nuts? 50! So as you can see in the top right of your interface, you have 100 which is your health, and then if you get shot by that bloody thing from one arm, it takes 50 of your health off! 50! But I am using my machine guns, I love the machine guns so freaking much. And this is that thing of like, it makes me feel like I'm in, say, like the Matrix, you know, the mechs that kind of like dual wield in that. I just love that immersion with it. But 34-17 was the final score. Sharks versus ninjas. We were the sharks. We pwned. We kicked some ass. We took some names. And we did that through working with the team, communicating. And I love the fact that when it comes to rigs, communication is key, is required. And I just can't wait to play more of it. I am so very excited to play more of rigs. But either way, I would love to know your opinion in the comment section below. What did you think to this match? Do you think you could do better than me? Do you want to challenge me in a 1v1? I would love, love, love to know. But to be me, Josh, aka Noir Proxy, claiming MVP as you can see here, but bringing you some rigs mechanized combat league on the PlayStation 4 via the PSVR headset. And hopefully, I'll see you next time. Remember to drop a like if you enjoyed this video, and also why not subscribe for some more videos? But as always, ciao for now.